Hello, and welcome to Patty Knits and Spins. I'm Patty. You can find me on Ravelry as Patty Sand. There is a group, Patty Knits and Spins Podcast, so please come and join me. You can follow me on Instagram. I am Patty Sand 631 Today is October 24th, 2014, and this is episode 42, Hand Spun Stash Flash. On today's show, I will be mostly talking about my hand spun stash. So, new viewers, this is not usually how this podcast go, but since I podcasted on Monday, I figured that today would be a great day to do another stash flash. And since I have so much hand spun, this would be a perfect opportunity. If you're a returning viewer, thanks so much for coming back week after week. I totally appreciate it. Um, so, this week... In review, <laughs> Monday we had a 5.0 earthquake hit the interior, which is the interior of Alaska where I live, and Thursday at 8.30 in the morning I was awoken with a 5.1. It's been very interesting this week, so two earthquakes in a week that you felt both of them. The Monday earthquake was at like 4.30 something and I was getting my hair cut actually and I felt it. Everybody else around me felt it, but my hairstylist didn't. I don't understand that, but she did hear the doors rattled. It, it was strong enough. It made doors rattle. It, uh, yeah, it made the chairs shake. It was very interesting. But, yeah, earthquakes, so much fun. But you're not here for that, you're here for the yarny goodness. Now, hand spun. I have been spinning, I think, for three years, I think. I can't remember when I bought um, the Traveler, which, if you recall, I said I had sold and passed her on to a different house, so hopefully they're getting along well. I have talked to my friend that bought it, and she is enjoying spinning it on it, and her husband also likes to spin, so it's going to be perfect for them. And I'm also sorry, I have flipped the camera around, or my iPad around, which I record on, so I can see myself, so I can show you guys the colors. And it's distracting. Now, I totally understand why some podcasters say it's really distracting to look at yourself and see yourself. Hi! And uh, so I'm really trying to focus on the little red dot that is next to the camera. <laughs> so forgive me for that. <sighs> so... Grab your favorite beverage of choice. Mine, again, is water. I have not had a soda since the 20th of um, September, and I'm doing okay with that. There are times where I see that bottle of soda and really want to drink it, but I think it's better for my health with water and juice and tea and milk. So we're, we're shooting for those things in my diet. So shall we get on with the stash flash already, Patty? Okay, we can do that. Uh, some of this stash you've already seen if you've watched um, previous episodes. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you all of the stash that I've spun in the last th three years. So here we go. The first one I'd show you is the Malabrigo Nube, which is one of the recent, more recent ones that I just finished. I got 468 yards out of the, let's see, Sam, Sam Baduria colorway, and it's purple, and it, it's showing blue over here, but the purple is pretty close over here. Um, this is 100% pure merino wool, 4 ounces, so I got a fingering weight, a two-ply. I haven't done any wraps per inch on these. I'm just doing it as what the four ounces is giving me in the um, weight of fiber. Like this one is eight ounces. I took the um, Unyarn Wine Company, which was the seedling, which was the green, and in it had BFL and the Woolen Mill Saint. Street Yarns, I think is what that is, Street Yarns. And this one was 100% Corydale in the Wicked, so it's purple. I got 600 yards and 8 ounces. I just love how that spun up. I really like the green. And the purple just... Halloween, right? So, 
And the next one. These were in the, uh, this pile was what was in the um, cake cover. This one, if you remember, is the, uh, I got 200 yards of a two-ply on my miscellaneous Olax that I started making on the blending board. So it's got sparkle and some red and some oatmeal BFL in it. Very pretty. I really liked how that turned out. This one is the Hobble Tea Hoy Strawberry Freezer Jam. I have 300 yards of a chain ply. So, ooh, that one turned out really good. So this one is also 4 ounces. I got a lot of yardage on that one. This was one another one that I just... This one is a single ply of the blending board that I did with Sparkle, BFL, Tussa Silk, uh, oh, Alpaca, Angora, and I can't read the last one. I think it's still kinky, but I'm not sure. This one is that uh, single ply that I did, and, huh, and, oh, and a loop cloud, that was the other thing that's in here. And I did not write down how many yards I got, so I must not have uh, yarded this one out. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. This would make a cute collar on something. I don't know. Here is a bullseye bump Bermuda Triangle. So this was 5 ounces and I got 400 yards of a chain ply. 410. Merino, nylon, and Angelina. So I could do a pair of socks with this one. And I might do that. Let's see. Yeah, it's a... Well, that blue is not... This is really dark, and that is not that light, so it's kind of hard. I had turned the overhead light off, and then everything was washing out, because there is a little bit of light coming in from the window, but not enough. Here's another blending board. Fun one, this was a, this was my Lincoln Locks. Wow, look at that twisty that is, that's really overspun. Hehehe, <laughs> overplied. So this is the Lincoln Locks. I got 96 yards out of a three-ply. This is definitely not nice to skin soft, so I'm really going to have to think about maybe a monster would be a good thing for that one. Here is my tooth by hand. I got 208 yards, so this is heavy worsted. It is a Merino Superwash in the short tails, I think. Yeah, that's about, that's a good representation of the color here. Okay, this one is the Into the World Tuscadero. I only have 96 yards of this left, so actually this should be, I could use this in my um, weaving, in my weaving. I'll have to put that over there. That was the what's left over of my sprig, sprig cloche. Yeah, the sprig cloche. So I'm going to put that, oops, over there because that's where my um, weaving project is. I have started putting the colors on. I haven't started weaving yet on that. This one is the Ashford uh, Spring Morning in Coriadale. I got 168 yards out of 4 ounces. And I picked up another 4 ounces of this colorway this week at um, a weaver's yarn. I went over there this week, and it is not blue, it is purple. There is blue in it, but it's mostly purple. So, yeah, it's more this color than that color. Okay. Now we're getting into the big box. So, I have two of the, I, these are both four ounces each. This was the Vine Maple from Ferndale Fibers. I got 334 yards of a two-ply here. And this is the other one I got. I got 312 of a two-ply. And it is orange and red. So, yeah, that's a good representation of that color. And, of course, you've seen the Sock Set Rock. 520 yards. Ooh, that's really bad. Now there is, this is just completely washing out. It is not blue. It is purple. 
But anyway, you've seen this one several times. Three ply socks at rock, um, bejeweled, 522 yards of a three ply. And that was a sheep to shoe kit. And I have this. This was a three use twisted in fiber, good vibrations, and gold rush from Mountain Colors. 100% superwash BFL and 100% Targi. So the BFL is the good vibrations, and the Targi is the Mountain Colors. There was three, three point. There's four ounces, I'm sorry, there's four ounces of the Good Vibrations in here, and there's three ounces of the Targi in here. I got 448 yards of a two-ply, and I just really liked how the uh, Good Vibrations was the orange, and the other one, the, t the uh, Mountain Colors, was the other color that you see going through it. I just really liked how they went together. I really liked how they went together. This is what was left over. This is the ounce of uh, the Targi. So the Targi you can see had some oranges in it so they really went well together. And I'm not sure how much is in here. Not very much. So this should go over with that also as my one ounce thing. Here is Another big. This is a mixed BFL. I got 290 yards here. And it's from Louette, that mixed BFL. 234 yards here. This is 186. And this one is 214. So I was kind of consistent with it, but that's that dark. Um, BFL and the lighter BFL. So I'm hoping to make a sweater or yeah I'm hoping to make a sweater with that because I think there's enough there but I'm not sure. Here is another mountain color that I had 100% target at 320 yards of a two ply and as you see there's two different skeins in there. So let's see. It's really hard but Pretty colors. I'm liking it a lot. Oh boy, Knitter's Nightmare. I love Knitter's Nightmare. Great stuff. Sadie has really great stuff. Um, 262 yards. Uh, this is a night at the Gen Gentric Opera. Four ounces. And it is her Spine Tingler 100% Superwash Merino. So this is a little bit lighter worsted weight. It would be great for mitts, I think. Um, here is some... Hmm. Fiber Addiction. Sorry. <laughs> Fiber Addiction. This is Acid Wash. Super Wash BFL. I got 254 yards. I am a more worsted weight spinner, I think. Even though I really want to spin lighter than that. And that's pretty close to what that is. Okay, this is a verb for keeping warm. It is 50% camel, 50% silk, undyed. I got 90 yards of 4 ounces, so this is definitely a bulky. And that's about right. It was fun to spin, nice and soft. Ooh, nice and soft. Okay, this is another Louette, Northern Lights, in the toffee colorway. I had 251 yards of a two-ply. This is something I spun this year also. And that's about right. Yep. This one is Highland Handmade, Handmaid's The Pitch Pine Top in Happy Accident, 248 yards of the Portuguese Merino. And yeah, that's good colorway right there. Very nice stuff. Nice, nice, nice. I have such a pile going on over here, it's ridiculous. 
Alrighty, so this is my spindle spun and my hand spun. There was two ounces of the custom blend colors from Unique Creations in Fiber. It was called the Polychrome Chrome Pass. It was 78 Superwash Merino, 12 Angelina 10 Silk. And then the other that I put in here was the two ounces of Sky Flight Alpaca. And I got 156 yards of this. I really like how it turned out. It's, let's see. Oh, yeah, you can see some of the sparkle. It's not that light. It's a lot darker, but if I got close, you can see the sparkle. Pull it back, and it's like that color in there. Okay, another wool gathering, 251 yards of a mixed blue, blue face luster. Four ounces, and she doesn't have a, doesn't have a um, name. So, let's see. Hmm. Well, it's not that bright. It's, it's a little bit more subdued. So, like I said, it's 251 yards. Very nice. <clears throat> this one is the Friends in Fiber. This is a Polworth Silk, 4 ounces of a charcoal cherry, and I got 278 yards. So it must be like a DK, maybe? Heavy worsted decay, maybe. And yeah, these colors are not turning out, but I just still want to show. Ah, we're getting towards the halfway mark, guys. And it's only been what 16 minutes, 17 minutes. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'll have I'll hurry this along. This one is an Into the World Aurora Borealis Superwash Merino. This was the September Club from 2012, and I got 148 yards. And it's green and purple. It's like a dark blue, maybe, but it's not showing up. The green is definitely not showing up. But, <coughs> sorry. Getting water all over myself is so much fun. Fiber Optics Yarns. This is a 100% Superwash Merino in the Honeysuckle Rose number 2. I got 270 yards, so this is probably a, a DK weight. And it is like, it's about that color. It's very, you know, it's right in here, that color. Very nice. I got this at Sock Summit. And, uh, here is the other wool gatherings. I got myself confused. This is wool gatherings. I got 990, 200, 292 yards of a mixed blue face luster. And this was a two ply, and it's a jewel tone. My hair. Hair everywhere. Okay, so yeah, it's more of a jewel tone than what you're seeing. But I really like it. Here is a bullseye bump from Loop. This is a kaleidoscope eyes. I got 212 yards. And there was a five ounces. So this is really going to be like a bulky. It's merino, nylon, and angelina. I really like sparkles. And uh, this isn't even showing up at all. Because this is purple here. <laughs> well, purple there. And then the green, now is showing up blue. So it's purples and greens and a blue and then a black. Nice big dark black. So that green right there is pretty true to color. Okay, this one is the Into the World, the wood. And it's Masham Classic Club. This is probably another 2012. And it was a December, yeah. So, here we go. And this one's not going to be uh, next to Skin Soft, so I'll have to figure out what to do with it. But I like how it spun out. This is uh, Ocean Waves Northern Lights 100% Wool Top. 
and I believe I got two ounces of this, so I got 314 yards of a two-ply. And I really love it, how it turned out. It's blues, all sorts of different tones of blue. And it's not too bad. I don't know if I'd want it as a neck. No, I couldn't do it as a neck, but maybe mitts or something would be great for that. This is Fiber Knit Dye Works in the 75 BFL 25 Tessa Silk in the Winter Solace Sunrise. I had 94 yards of a, seems like this one, yes, this one is a uh, chain ply. So, 94 yards, super bulky. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, <laughs> but this is when I was learning to uh, chain ply. Some of my chain plies are pretty rough. I'm still trying to figure that out. I can't quit getting the little curly cues, so I need to really work on that. Here is another Into the World Iron Hinami. This is a November 2012 Club, Corydale, at 234 yards. So, worst weight. And I think it's that color, but there's more green than. Oh, there we go. That green. That's that color. What's up, that one? I like how that turned out. My go-to is a two-ply. Um, I like to keep my colors... If I'm liking to keep my colors together, then I do the chain-ply. This is a squoosh fiber. Um, crab apple. 318 yards of a 4 ounces. I bought this before I bought my wheel. Because I knew I was going to buy a wheel after I bundle spun a couple times. So I bought this a long time ago. And I spun it, this was not an early spin, this was a later spin. Maybe in the last year, year and a half. Look how that turned out. <clears throat> Here is a Roses in High Definition, or HD, by Highland Handmaids. It's in her Pitch Pine Top which is Falkland. I got 336 yards of a two-ply. So pretty. And it is that bright. That yellow and pink. So pretty. So, so pretty. Okay. This is the BFL I spun before I spun the mixed BFL. So this one is just a straight BFL. There is 306 yards of a two-ply here. And here's the leftovers of the other skeins I had. I made my Ginny cardigan out of hand spun. That was my first hand spun sweater, and this is what I had left over of that. <coughs> Excuse me. Is this time for another drink? Okay, into the world. Oh, I'm into the world. Unwind Yarn Company. I'm looking right at the tag, too, guys. 336 yards of Transylvania Tramp. It is a Coriadale, 4 ounces. And did I write down? Oh yeah, I did 336 yards. And it's purples. There is no blue in it at all. It's purple. So it's more this over here. <coughs> here is an Into the World. This is Into the World Straw Notch, 4 ounces. This is January 2013 Club, English Shetland. I got 320 yards. And um, right here is a good representation of that color. Okay. <clears throat> this one was so much fun to spin. This was 4.4 ounces of Peppermint Twist, so it was 60 BFL, 20 Tessa, 20 Sparkle. I got 119 yards, so it was 2.1 ounce, 2.2 ounces of the white and 2.2 ounces of the red, so that you would just spin them and then ply them together. And that's what I got. And I'm really thinking about making a hat or, or a mitt of some sort this year at Christmas time. That will be fun. This is one of my favorite um, spins here. Uh, this is a fiber optic 
This is the ro the ro rouge violet cerulean gradient that uh, the Knit Girls did a sp spin along with. At 264 yards of a 80% merino 20 silk. So I definitely chained plied this. Okay. Uh, down here. Let's see if I spin it. Can you see the purple? Uh, not really. There is some darker color right there. Is that purpley color? It's kind of hard to see, but let's move on, right? Right. Another Into the World Pam Pamuk uh, I, I don't know, I'm sorry. Uh, Polworth Polworth Top 4 ounces, 266 yards, and this was also a 2012, I believe, club spin. And I was in the Classic Club, just like I am now. I went back, got back into the Classic Club. And I have five of them to spin. i got to get my bootay moving. This one is the ones I tried to make socks out of. I bought this at the first SSK. Hiawassee Creek Dye Works. I have 412 yards of a four-leaf clover polar silk. Um, 4.15 ounces and I only did a two ply but I think it's it would be good for half socks and that's a pretty good representation of color <coughs> I'm sorry if you watched me back in um, February I had started a pair of socks but they were way too small so I just tore them out so I'm when I start these again I'm going to put them on a size uh, three which I think is a three 3.25 millimeter needle and see how that goes. I bought this at the second sock summit and I don't remember where I bought it from, what the color is, I don't even remember how many yards is in here because I lost the tag, or I didn't even have a tag, but um, I liked it. It's got some really great pops, but every time I go to knit with it, this is one of those first spins, so it's thick and thin. And it makes it really difficult, because you can see here, there's a really thin spot here. And then down in here are really thick spots. So let that one go. So you can see the difference here. It's going to be interesting spin or knitting that one up. I haven't decided how I'm going to do that yet. Yeah. Okay, so pretty. This was the bat. Um, this is Vixen by Hobble de Hoy at 222 yards of a classic bat. It's super fine merino, tassa, fine alpaca, soy silk, and angelina sparkle. So, very, very pretty. These would make great mitts. I think I need to find a pattern that'll use up some that for great mitts. This is a spun, spindle spun of um, Lincoln. Lincoln long blocks that I had, so this is definitely not next to skin. But when I was first using my combs, no, my carters, I have some small carters and I have some combs too. It's more of that purple color. Um, I did a little test sample and did a three ply and that's what this is so I have no idea how many yards it is in fact oh, excuse me again it can go over there <sighs> my other knitter's nightmare hand spun this is a uh, spring monster 100% Polworth and her this is her poltergeist there is 350 yards turned out great. I love that pink color in there and the purple. It reminds me of Easter eggs. Oh, another Knitter's Nightmare. I have three. I didn't realize that. <clears throat> this one is By the Woods. Um, it is her Frankenstein 100% Falkland. I got 336 yards by two ply. So another one I spun this year. Not very many more, guys. We're almost done. This is... Ah! A hundred yards of a blue face luster. 
and a good read. So this is from the Trifecta of Awesome the Trifecta of Awesome Fiber Club by Keegan Lane Yarns. Uh, as radiant in the sun. That's what this is. And it is probably that color. And it looks like I did a two ply. Yeah, I did two ply on that one. I bought this in Portland, at, not at Sock Summit. We a group of us went to Twisted, so I got this at Twisted. This is Black Trillium Fiber Studio. I have 296 yards. The colorway is Fizz, and it is four ounces of merino. Yeah, merino. <clears throat> so 298 yards. And I am really drawn to that green. I really like that green. <clears throat> this one I picked up at Sock Summit. This is... Huh, I'll let you guys try to figure that tag out. Okay, there we go. And it's 202 yards of the Lannister colorway Superwash Corydale. Yeah. And it's red and yellow. It was really pretty in the um, in the uh, bump for the braid of fiber. I like how that turned out. I just Sometimes when you see it in the braid of fiber, you think, ooh, it's going to turn out like that, and it doesn't. It turns out completely different. So this one is 226 yards, Princess Bride, as you wish. So this would be Fiber Nymph Dye Works. Not Fiber Nymph, I'm sorry, this is Highland Handmaids. Yeah. And I forgot to write down what it is. I think it's another Shetland, but I'm not sure. So that was another one from the Trifecta of Awesome Club. Cloud Lover. The Knit Girls Spin Along Knit Along Haunted Vineyard in Polworth. This was my second. I got. I bought eight ounces, so this is the second. Four ounces. And there's 306 yards here. And it's not blue, it's purple. So it's more this up here. Another Into the World, Take It to the Bridge, February 2013, um, Superwash Merino, 212 yards, so definitely a worsted weight. Okay, Whew. two left, guys, that's it. Here is the Alpaca, the Oregon Yarn Company, got this at Twisted also, 166 yards of a two-ply. And the last but not least, an Into the World Bodhi, Superwash, or this is, says just Merino, a three-ply, 124 yards. And that is all she wrote. Wow! Only 33 minutes of hand spun. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, let me let me know. Uh, so next week will be a regular <clears throat> a regular program. I have done some stitching, so there will be at the this will be that yeah where I started off with um, showing you what I have completed this week or this month of stitching so I have been working on the stitching and I forgot I have been showing you guys the wrong picture of this of the um, the fairy and it's called fly butterfly there were two different fairies that I liked at the heaven and earth designs so I've uh, printed out the second fairy and I have the the fairy I'm working on now I reprinted out the picture of that fairy so next week I will show you fly butterfly that I've been calling purple fairy because she's purple. She's mostly purple. So I think that's it. So if you're a new viewer, thank you so much for sticking out, sticking it out. And a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back week after week. 
Um, you can find show notes, which there probably will not be any show notes this week because of that would be a lot of work to have to try to figure out all of that again. So, but show notes can be found at pattyknitsandspins.blogspot.com. Um, I guess I will see you guys next week. Hopefully there will be no more earthquakes. And uh, whatever you craft, I hope you craft it to your heart's content. Bye, guys.